Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how I've been doing my gel nails at home because I've been seeing lots of my friends on Instagram uh, saying they're not sure what to do with their gel nails. Thankfully I've learned that a year ago uh, so I can do it at home. And today I have teamed up and collaborated to bring this video to you guys with uh, Jevilla Magikaite. She has a beauty uh, salon here in Klaipeda. That's where I used to always go get my nails done by a lovely girl called Victoria. Jevilla is the owner and also a lecturer. She teaches um, other beauticians and um, anyone who wants to learn all about nails. Yeah, her salon is closed during this time obviously, so we thought it would be a great idea um, for me to show you guys how I do my nails. So I usually buy my products at her salon and uh, now that I cannot do it, she has an online uh, shop where you can browse and buy all the nail polishes and things and uh, she also has great hair care as well like Deviness and a few other brands. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I've been using and also some new products uh, that I got from Jivila to try out. By the way guys, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that I'm a no expert in nail care at all. I know absolutely nothing about nails. I'm not claiming to be a nail artist. This is just how I've been doing my nails um, lately myself and I want to share that with you guys. It might inspire you guys to try it out yourselves as well. Also another thing for the lamp, Jivila doesn't have these uh, in stock anymore at the moment because of the quarantine, but you can buy all the other products I'm gonna look for LED lamps on other websites and try to find something and link them down below for you guys I do my manicure. I would say every two weeks um, Yeah, it, it's been a while. I think it's been two weeks. My nails look horrible. Yeah, this is the current state of my nails um, They have outgrown pretty badly and this is the color that's always on my nails. So now I'm gonna show you the products you'll need. This is my nail kit. I'm gonna talk through everything that you guys uh, will need. So you obviously need a rough nail file to file down your nail polish. Uh, then I like to use this OPI diamond file to shape my nails because I like this almond shape to my nails. Uh, a cuticle pusher and then one of these buffer files. Then you're gonna need a dehydrator to degrease your nails. Um, Jivila actually gave me this massive bottle which will last me for years and years, for sure. And she said just um, pour some of it into a spray bottle and you just spray it on your nails before applying nail polish to degrease and prep your nails so um, that the polishes uh, adhere to your nail better. In her salon she uses Victoria Vin polishes and that's what I've been using and they're fantastic quality in my opinion. Um, yeah so this is what I've been using for almost a year. Mega base coat so it's just a clear base coat but she gave me this uh, pink one to try out. So it's the exact same thing but it only has um, pink color to it so it's great under nude or pinky shades. Then for the color itself, this is the only nail polish I ever use. It's number three from the Pure Creamy Hybrid range and it's called Velvet Agate. could use this color um, for the rest of my life. I absolutely love it. It's like my signature nail polish. But in summer I like to switch it up and go for Absolute White number one. Um, and then she also gave me these two uh, colors to try out. So this is Sweet Ice Cream number seven, which is a beautiful pastel -y peach color. Uh, and then this one, Toasted Almond number 74, which is a great classic nude color. So yeah, I think having uh, two, three, four colors is completely enough. Then for the top coat. I've been using this one, No Wipe Gloss Top Coat. Chivilla gave me this one to dry out. Um, blue No Wipe uh, Top Coat. And then obviously you need an LED lamp, which is pretty obvious, I think. When I used to go get my nails done at her salon, my nail technician would use one of these electric files and she would file down the nail polish but leave the 
base coat underneath so she wouldn't really file it down up to my nail which I feel like is a great way to protect your nail I don't know like the most common way that I've seen people remove their gel polish is by soaking up cotton pads in acetone putting them on each nail and then wrapping it in tin foil and then scraping the polish off with a cuticle pusher so yeah, I feel like this is the most common method, but what I do is I use a nail file and file down the nail polish, but leave a little bit of the base underneath, um, which I know can be a little dangerous if you are not a nail technician like myself and you can damage your nails, but I don't know, I've, I think I'm pretty careful with that. So this is what I'm gonna do file down the nail polish which is the most boring part of doing your nails it takes me uh, almost an hour so i usually watch a tv show or a movie it definitely takes a while <laughs> Okay, two nails down, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, there's the, still this uh, hard layer of the base coat on. And this is where I leave it, and I'm gonna do the rest of my nails. Okay, so I just finished filing down my nails, and this is what they look like with no nail polish on. So what I'm gonna do now is I have this little bowl with warm water, I'm gonna dip my nails and keep them in here for about five minutes just to soften my cuticle so that I could push them because I don't own a nail cuticle remover. Um, these are my nails up close. Okay, so now I'm just gonna push my cuticles, but they aren't too bad, so I'm not sure if there will be much to remove yeah i think my cuticles are pretty fine so now i'm gonna file down my nails because they're a little too long for my liking so um I'm gonna use both of the files actually this one to just quickly and roughly shorten them and then this one to shape my nails go where you stay seasons come and go wonder why you got me feeling like a movie okay so I'm now happy with the length of my nails um just gonna take off the dust. I'm gonna use dehydrator to degrease my nails. You can also use alcohol pads if you don't have a degreasing spray. Um, so yeah, it's just like a wet wipe with alcohol and uh, yeah they're great for degreasing or removing a sticky layer okay so i'm gonna start with a base coat and i'll be trying this pink one today a primer um, which you apply before using nail polish but Jivila told me that I don't actually need to use a primer because this base coat already has a primer in it which I didn't know it's something new that I've learned you don't have to be super precise with your base coat because obviously the nail polish will go on top of it. I'm gonna put my nails in the lamp for one minute. That first layer is always sticky so you have to degrease it. Again, you can use alcohol wipes or the spray.
Now my nails are ready for the polish. I'm gonna do the second hand now. Okay, second hand goes into the lap. Now I'm gonna apply my Velvet Agate nail polish. And don't worry if it doesn't look neat or looks too sheer, it's just the first coat. I actually need a new one of this polish because I'm pretty much out of it, so it's getting a little flaky and bubbly. In the lamp for another minute. Remove the sticky layer again. Now we're gonna go in with the top coat. This one right here. This is my favorite part because it just makes your nails so so glossy and it all comes together. Look at that gloss. In the lamp. Now the last few steps I'm gonna try this hand cream that Jivila kindly gave to me. Um, but first I'm gonna apply cuticle oil by Victoria Vin as well. It smells amazing. Yeah, you gotta hydrate those cuticles. You can use um, coconut oil or even olive oil. Because this is a no wipe top coat, um, it's not sticky. So once you've applied it, you don't need to wipe or degrease it. It's super nice and glossy. Let's take some of that hand cream now. I guess everyone's hands are super dry now because of the constant washing. And that, you guys, is my at-home manicure. This is how I've been doing my nails. Um, and yeah, it took me an hour and a half. And uh, the reason I love going to the salon is because they make the cuticles so perfect. Like they make my nails look so, so clean. So I'll go every once in a while, but every two weeks I just do it at home. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing how I do my nails at home. Um, and yeah, check out the info bar. I'll link everything that I can in the info bar, all of the products that I use. This hand cream smells amazing. Definitely try out doing a little nail salon at home and trying gel manicure. If you do have any questions, leave them down below in the info bar. Um, and yeah, stay safe, stay healthy. I love you guys loads and I'll see you soon. Bye.